Kamsu, I need you to talk to me. You know you can talk to me. I am here to listen to you. Whatever we discuss in here remains private. So is there... They said a problem shared is half solved. I know you have a problem, but no one seems to understand you, not even your parents. But I assure you, I'll try my best to understand you. So tell me whenever you're ready. I know for the fact that our parents do not understand us. I was once your age, and I can tell you perfectly well what you're going through. Most of the times, we rather bottle them up all than to speak, so that we will not be judged nor condemned. But come so, I am not here to judge nor condemn you. Whatever we discuss in here remains confidential. Trust me, not even your parents will know about it. Tell me what is bothering you. I'm in love with my dad.
and drop you off at school. When did you start all this? Oh, come on. Calm down, darling. My angel, you need to go to school, okay? Any day you won't be going to school, I will take you along as I go to my office. All right? Honey, you need to hurry up to the office. You're going to be late. I can't deal with your daddy-daughter drama today. I have a lot of things to do. Yes, I understand you're just trying to be jealous. It's, it's natural. It's okay. But don't worry. Uh, sweetie, everything I told you, I meant it. Okay? On my way back from office, I'll buy you chocolate. I'll buy you lollipop. I'll buy you cake. I know you like cake. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm, my darling. Bye, sweetheart. Mm, love you, birds. Love you, too. time she's in the kitchen, okay? Because the day will come when mommy not, will not be there to do the cooking, you will prepare food for me. Or well, don't you want to cook for daddy? You want to cook for me, right? I said, good, so be a good girl. You go to the kitchen and help mommy to prepare food for us, okay? Good girl. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Why don't we go to the kitchen and prepare the food together? Yes! <laughs> Shouting your name. Didn't hear you. Sorry. How will you hear? How will you hear when you've locked yourself out of reality with this rubbish in your ears? See, why do you, young lady, like hurting yourselves? Why? Don't you know this thing could deter your listening ability? Not if it's not loud enough. See. Come on. Mm. See? Hmm? It's not loud enough. And besides, it's not just any type of song. It's yours and mom's favorite song. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I love the song too. Mm -hmm. See what you're enjoying. <laughs> What's going on here? Teaching dad how to use modern day technology. Are you done with the dishes? Almost. And I've been yelling your name for like ages. Oh, I'm sorry mom. I didn't hear. How would you hear? When you've turned this kitchen into a disco hall. My friend, will you switch off that thing and hurry up with the dishes? Oh, darling, you're here? 
Until the day that will be you leaving me for real. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. All right, darling. All right, take care of yourself, eh? Sweetie, huh? You guys. Are you missing me? Just sit. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be right back. Just. In heaven's name was going on out there? Nothing, mom. They're my friends. Your friends? Yes, mom. And you people have turned the house into a disco hall? No, mom. We're just playing music. Music? Do you know where I hear the sound from? Is this what you do when you're home alone? No, mom. They're both my friends from school. I don't want to hear it. Just go out there and clear everything up. Okay, I'll ask them to help me clean up. Clean up? I don't want to see either of them when I come out there. Mom, you want me to ask them to leave? Yes. And that's your punishment for turning my house upside down. Please. Don't. Just go out there and when you're done, come and clear this thing up so we can prepare for your dad's dinner.
set the table for you because she knows you'll be hungry sooner or later. I'm not hungry. Oh, come on. Don't give me that attitude. Because I know my angel. My angel is not a stubborn child because I raised her. Oh, is she a stubborn child? Of course not. That's the spirit. Oh, yeah. Get up. Go have your dinner so mom and I can sleep peacefully, okay? Okay. I'll be out in a few minutes. It's all right, darling. I love you so much, darling. I love you more, dad.
My friend, you're always shining. <laughs> you too, my darling. I love this place. This Thanks. place is becoming beautiful by the day. Thank you. What will I do? I just spent some little money here to make it look good for people like you. You're making money too. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> so good to see you. How have you been? I'm fine. Hi, it's Council and Adam. They are doing good, but annoying me as usual. Hmm. No wonder you ran away from home. You don't understand. I just needed to let out a little steam. I am dying, my dear. Adams doesn't let me discipline my daughter. And Council is getting spoiled by the day. I don't know what to do. Council is very stubborn. You see me as a strict mother, right? But my strictness does not affect Council one bit. My friend, you know you are very, very strict. Are you trying to take their side or something? No, 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 no. Abba, Abba, Abba my me. friend. I came no, here to talk see, to you. Don't see. even think of taking their side because... <laughs> no, I'm not taking their side, but you know you're very, very strict. You know that. I'm just joking. Council needs that. It's just a joke. It's just a joke, my friend. But the truth of the matter is, I believe with time, council will change. You understand? I pray so. She will change. Certain. I'm very, very sure of that. And you should also pray about it. You know? Trust yeah, me, I am. am. Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, my love. <laughs> are those flowers? Oh, yes. And they're for your mom. Is she back yet? No, she's not. What? What? <sighs> Do you think she would like them? What do you have to say? Let me see. Hmm, they do smell nice and this is so sweet of you that I bet one cent at this and she'll forget whatever you guys were arguing about. Oh really? Mm-hmm. You're so romantic, Dad. Ah uh, <laughs> well thanks for the compliment. So uh you know what? What? Why don't we go prepare dinner together before your mom comes back? Okay. I don't get the both of you. One minute you're arguing and then the next you're all love it of it. Well, you especially are all lovey-dovey. It's so confusing. Come here. What don't you understand? I mean, what is confusing about loving your family? You see, people disagree to agree. Mm, true. It's a circle. I loved your mom when I married her. And I still love her. Even more. Oh. Okay? So about the cooking, what do you think? Oh, okay. Let me take your file in your room first. Oh, no, don't worry. After all, I'm going in to change. Oh. Okay. So, you go to the kitchen, prepare all the ingredients, get them ready while I change and join you. Okay. Now go. I'll come after you. Okay. <laughs>
you know what? I know where you're coming from. Uh, you know, I was told that your grandfather is a renowned power on top of your village. <laughs> <laughs> so you came from descendants of drunkards. Please, go ahead. I want to test that one. <laughs> hey, 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 come back here. Why are you in so much hurry to? I need to go with that to the mall. He promised to get me that iPad today, and I don't want him giving me excuses like the last time. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey. So, you finally getting her the iPad? Oh, why not? Don't you think it's long overdue? At least let me have peace of mind in this house. This girl has always been hounding me like her life depends on the iPad. I know. I know you promised to get her one. But my worries are this may add to her distractions. I'm already finding it difficult getting her con to concentrate once she's with her phone and without her music ear thing in her ear. And now you want to add a pad or whatever that is to it. <laughs> so, you see, I was thinking I am the one who is technologically backwarded here. But it seems I'm better than you. That thing is called an iPad, not a pad. Whatever. Make sure you get her back home on time. Of course, of course. Ready, Dad? Oh, sweetie, you yeah. good? You ready? Let's finish on the road. Make sure you get everything on this list in case your dad forgets. Mom, who's going to pay all these? Who else? But mom. Don't but mom me. Make sure you get everything on that list and come back home on time. Sweetheart, you have to calm down when you're talking to this young girl. She's only a baby. You're spoiling her. I am not. I'm doing the best I can as a father. Besides, she's our only daughter. Okay? So when you talk to our only daughter, you calm down. She's just an angel, very adorable. Oh, don't worry, I'll see you when I go back. My younger sister's um, friend, right? Dominic. Oh my god, Damilola de Bayer's elder sister. Um, I see me, right? You're very right. Ah, you look good. It's been a long time. Yes, you did. You look good too. Thank so, how you. Have you been? I've been good. Ah, you're very good. Thank you. So, tell me, how about your cute dad? It's fine. The truth is, if he was my dad, people would have had a hard time knowing that. Oh, really? Yeah. I hardly believe he's even married, talking about having a grown-up like you. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, please, do me well to say hi to him, okay? Sure. Yeah. Take very good care of yourself. And you too. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And what exactly do you think happened in that moment? Come so. Are you with me? What do you think happened in that moment? Simi made me become aware of my dad as a man. How about your cute dad? It's fine. The truth is, if he was my dad, people would have had a hard time knowing that. Oh, really? Yeah. I hardly believe he's even married, talking about having a grown up like you. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, please do me well to say hi to him, okay? Inside. 
and I'm proud of it. I just want to show you how I feel. I don't care if it's Wait, I want to ask you a question. Mm. With all these drinks you are filling your stomach with, are you sure you're going to eat at home when you get home tonight? Why wouldn't I? And no, it's not like it's a big deal. Mm. My wife won't mind. Oh, really? Because your wife doesn't complain, you have to kill yourself. <laughs> well, I only advise you as my friend, if you don't curtail what you eat, this your pot belly will never go down. And who told you I want to curtail what I eat? <laughs> You're the one complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> See, I've come to accept this just the way it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you've been drinking more since we came here. Oh, oh, excuse me, hold it there. If this is what you call relaxation, my brother, I'm fine with my morals. See, let me tell you. This life is so short. Try and enjoy it, even if it's for once. Eat something. Do something. How can you be drinking malt? I, 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 as if you need sugar. In short, I'm dieting. Let's, let's... Hey, waiter! Please, bring me two bottles of life. Let, let's start from there. For who? For you. For, no, uh, for you yourself. will start today. Okay, 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 okay. I you know you. why all that life. <laughs> because my, you think my life is finished. <laughs> standing there? Ah, not too long. Oh, really? Who's that for? Your mom? I hope she's no longer angry with me after what happened yesterday. What happened? Is it something happened yesterday? I... I am... Um... Dad. Yes, ma'am. I know you came home late and drunk. You saw me? Everything. Sweetie, I am sincerely sorry. You see, this thing has never happened before. I, I don't know what came over me. Dad, it's okay. I forgive you. Sure. Mm -hmm. you. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, honey. Hi. Wait. What's 
see you in the room. All right, Mom. Have a nice day, boy. Love you, boys. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. I guess she's still angry. Mm-hmm. She is. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's all right. Yeah. I just wanna tell you how I feel. I don't care if it's wrong or right. It's the way I feel inside And I'm proud of it I just wanna show you how I feel I don't care if it's wrong or right That is just how I feel yaga, yaga, yeah. And tell me who owns this car because I'm certain it's not yours. How do you know it's not mine? Da, you're not working except you stole it. Ha, huh. you're very funny. It's my dad, and yes, I stole it from the garage. Your dad's car. You be in big trouble. I didn't ask you to come with the car. Relax, Kamso. My dad is out of town. Besides, these are fun's days. I needed to impress you. And so, are you impressed? I guess. Uh, oh, so before I drop you off, can I get um a kiss? Please come. Okay.
just the same movie. Did you tell your mom you were going on a date with a guy? No, she wouldn't have let me go with him. That excuse is flimsy, but go on. He called and he asked for a date and after that he kept insistent for another one and I refused. Then he kept calling and calling and calling. I still refused. That was when he came here. That he so, had to believe me. So who gave him the address? I don't know. But it wasn't me. It's the truth. I believe you. Do? Yes. Thank you, Dad. You're so easy to talk to. More like mom, she she hardly ever listens to me. She has your interest at heart. I doubt that. She's so mean. She's so mean. Shh. <laughs> Come here. It's okay. It's okay. I will talk to her, okay? Just that you're still too young to understand. But with time, you will. I don't think I'll be like mom. See, your mom is not a bad person. She's a nice woman. Just her temper. All I'm saying is, at least she should put in a little bit of effort whenever you guys have a misunderstanding. I mean, she's, she's so lucky to have someone like you as a husband and she's taking it all for granted. That's my angel. Well, thanks for the compliment. But you see, that's the thing about marriage and family. Once you love somebody, you have to learn how to tolerate the person. Okay? 
And you love her that much? Of course. I love my wife so much. And I love you too. Same way as I love her. Good. Finally, we're here. So, what do I look like? How do I look? Sexy as hell. Any woman would kill to have you. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't expecting that from you. Thanks, Odyssey. That. Yes? Just that. What else do you want? A hog? But I remember you telling me you don't want hogs anymore, that you are grown up now, hogs are for babies and all that. I need it now. By all means. Well, that's okay. I don't know when you start loving hogs. Okay, like okay, this. one, just one more. I just want to tell you. Maybe gone for the day. Take care of the house and take care of your mom. Okay? okay. Mm, be a good girl. Love you, baby. Love you, mom. That's just how I feel. I love you. It's in my heart and my head. I love you. to bed.
Okay, you should go to your room now. So it's, it's not a problem, you know. I think we have to arrange a ticket for a trip. Yeah, that would well. be nice. Oh, my angel. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, Dad. Welcome. Good afternoon, darling. You look exhausted. I am. That school is massive. I and my friend had to walk around the entire school, only finding the right department to make payments. Yeah, it's like that at first. Don't worry with time, you get used to it, okay? Did you take out time to check out for the hostels? 
Yes, that. But. But what? I would like to stay in the hostels. Why? Where do you want to stay? I go to school from home. From home? Well, that I cannot guarantee you. Unless. Honey? What would you say? I don't have a problem with that if you want to go to school from home. Oh, really? At least I'll need help at home once in a while. I know you always <laughs> want your daughter around you. <laughs> well, if your mom is okay with it, then I don't have a problem too. Okay. Thank you, Dad. That's fine. That's great. Go in, freshen up, eat your food. Okay? Good girl. Well, I remember my first day in the university. I felt the same way too. Honey? Are you okay? Um, yeah. Have you noticed anything lately with Kamsol? Anything like what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't want us to go through this argument again. We've talked about this thing before. Mm. Eh? I told my wife did all the arrangement even before consulting me. That is because you did not tell me fast enough. Beautiful. Fine. You win. I will give Kamsu your gift. Please do that. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Having this weird feeling. A weird feeling about what? Council. Council. What kind of feeling is that? I don't really know myself. But my instincts keep telling me there is something wrong with her. Something wrong with her? 
I don't understand. I don't understand it myself. Or oh, he keeps lingering and has refused to go. Is she okay? Or oh, is she sick or something? No, no. Not that. I can't really put my finger on anything. But have you noticed anything strange? Any strange behavior? I mean, anything at all. No. Except her recent dressing which you corrected. Apart from that, um, nothing else. Honey, you are stressed and you need to rest. Okay? Come and take care of you. I'll give you some massage. <laughs> Anything you want to discuss with me? You know I'm your father. I will always give you a listening ear. Are you having a boy problem? Or is this what you just do to boys in school? No, Dad. Of course not. Then what happened? I don't know. I don't know what came over me. You don't know what's coming over you. Where'd you get that from, Dad? Where I got it from is immaterial right now. What I do with this? 
How will you be reading this kind of book? Council, are you following bad crowd? Who is influencing you? Where are you reading this kind of book? Who are you reading it for? It's you, Dad. I'm in love with you. Are you out of your senses? Are you mad? What do you know about love? I don't know. But I know what I feel. I'm in love with you, Dad. Will you shut up your mouth? You are barely 15 years old. And at your age, you're not even supposed to date a man. Talk more of falling in love. Who did this to you? Kapsu, I love you so much as my daughter. I love you so much because you are my only child. And I promised to do anything humanly possible to make sure you're fine. But you have to stop all this nonsense and be the angel you used to be. I will pretend I did not hear all this nonsense. Ask you a question. Yeah. How old is your daughter? Um, she's eleven thereabouts. She's your first daughter, right? Yeah. What is your relationship with her like? Normal father daughter relationship. Why are you asking this question? Is there anything the matter? Are you having problems with cancer? Uh, not really. Uh, Never mind, no way. No way. No, come on, bro. Hey, if there's anything, why not? Let's talk about it. No, it's not as serious, no way. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna do one more round with me? That's great. I think this is my last. <laughs> oh. Come on, that you're listening this night again. I will support you. Let me just. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go and join the snack team? I think that's where you belong. Oh yeah, come on. Go Adam. Go Adam. Go Adam. Go Adam. <laughs>
Tamsu! understand our daughter needs help simply because she told the father she loves him that's not what i said no no you don't get it okay. i said kamsi says she is in love with me get a difference i did not say kamsi says she loves me i said kamsi said she is in love with me can you imagine that kind of madness is it possible are you sure that's what she meant i i mean don't you think it's a mistake or something? I felt the same way. I thought maybe I didn't hear correctly. Until I was coming out from the bedroom, I caught Kamso in my room sniffing my shirt. Doing what? You don't get it! I... I... This is unbelievable. I don't understand. This is unbelievable. No, no, no. Kamso? This is not the time to scold her or, or beat her up or punish her. She is our daughter, she needs help. This is the time we need to render her help. Kamsu is our only daughter. This is not the time to shout at her or beat her up or scold her. Okay? We need to, we need to get her to talk to somebody. Maybe a pastor or, or, or a psychiatrist or, or, a, or a psychologist or something. But, Either way, she needs help. We need to help her. We need to... Oh God. Hi. This is not happening, God. I guess that's why I'm here. You still have those same feelings for him? 
I mean your dad. Yes. Even stronger. Come so. What exactly do you want? I want him to love. Not just like a daughter, but much, much more. I want him to be with me and me alone. What about your mom? What would happen to her? I don't care. I don't care. She's had him ever since I was born. And she doesn't deserve him. My dad is the nicest man you can ever meet. He's cool, he's kind, he's gentle. And he deserves somebody who appreciates him the way he does. And you think you're the right person to give it to him? Of course. She hasn't said anything to me since she finished her therapy. Oh. Poor child. I feel for her. Okay. I will make the necessary preparations and arrangements. Okay. Honey, this is so hard for me to do. Me too. I don't have a choice. <sighs> yeah, the appropriate term used for her condition, seeing that you've not actually consummated anything with her, would be. OCD. Yeah, an OCD is an acronym for obsessive and compulsive disorder. It is common chronic and long-lasting disorder in which a person has uncontrollable and reoccurring thoughts or obsession and behavior. Composure that he or she feels the urge to do over and over. Well, but in Kamsi's case, it is forbidden thoughts and relation involving sex. Yeah, I have a friend of mine that stays in the States. I will just call her and refer Kamsi to her. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Please, please don't do this to me. Don't send me away from you, please. I won't survive it. Kamsu, this is the best we can do. It's the best for you. See, we've tried all we could, but 
It's not working. As difficult as it is for me, I don't have a choice. You can't be nursing this kind of feelings for me. I'm your father. It is, it is a taboo in our society. <laughs> Let's live our lives outside where nobody knows us. Please, Dad. Please. Are you listening to yourself? This is all your plan. Now you want to continue to maltreat him like you've always been doing. I just want to love him. I just want to love him. Is that too much to ask? Is it? It's not too much, my love. <laughs> what the kind of love you have for him, it's wrong. Can't you understand? I only understand that you all don't care about me. You all claim you care about me, yet you want to separate me from the man I love? You all hate me. You don't even... You don't love me! This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Tell me about it.
You are awake? Yeah. Um, tea is served. Shall I serve you? Sorry about last night. You don't need to bother yourself about that. I am your husband. I can understand. And you know your husband loves you very well. And I'm ready and willing to do anything for you just to make you happy. Hmm? You should try and love your husband the same way your husband loves you. But if you say you don't love me, or if you feel you don't love me, just spell it out. And I'll let you be. I'm sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> so let me have it. I know it's mine. What this? Yeah. No, it's for my dad. Today is his birthday and I want to surprise him. This is for your dad? And today is your dad's birthday. Have you forgotten that today is my birthday too? It is? Happy birthday. Um, I'm sorry I forgot. As the husband nothing not even a gift I am suspecting that somebody somewhere is eating my cake and I am yet to know who that person is but I will definitely find out who that person is no no, no, no. come on he hasn't gotten to that okay I mean remember your promise Better for us. The advice I'll give as a friend now is to calm down, okay? Just don't rush it. Kids, take your time. Invest. Get over this because this is getting serious. Don't just jump into conclusion. For sure. Trust me. I'll do that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Just take, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't do anything funny, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm capable of doing. Sure. I will definitely get to the person. Yeah. It's all right.
this is getting out of hand. This is becoming very serious. And I don't expect you to sit down and relax. You have to take a step. Do something about it. What I really can't understand is... Is it possible that a father could be having an affair with his own daughter? I really can't understand it. I am beginning to understand that there is something about my wife that I am yet to know. I'm suspecting that she is having an affair with somebody I don't know. Because I can't believe that she has something to do with the father. It's impossible. When are you going to wake up and realize that we are the kind of age we are living in now? Then anything is possible this time around. Anything. Uh, the only thing I can advise you as a friend now is to stop. Just stop wondering. Because, you know, sitting here, complain every day will not do any good for you. Take a step. I suggest you should take her to a psychiatrist or to a pastor. Yes. Don't just keep sit down and complain. Why should I take her to a pastor? How can you believe that somebody will have something to do with the father? Is it possible? If such things happen, don't you know what it is? Of course. If what we are suspecting is true, that is insane. Insanity. Thank God you know that. Insanity. That's what it is. No, but I, after this all, you see, that's my problem with uh, getting married to all these young girls. <sighs> I don't even understand what home is all about. That's my problem. Anyway, let me go. So this is what I've been passing through since we got married, Oma. It's not been easy. I can't bear it anymore. I just can't bear it anymore. I have thought of divorce. But I said, let me just take this last chance. I want you to come and see us in Lagos from Abuja. I want you to come and cancel her. Yes. Let me see if there will be changes. It's all right. So when am I expecting you? Good, good. Thank you so much. So how is Abuja? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Thanks for your understanding. It's okay. I'll be expecting you.
The door is open. Wow. Hey, cousin. <laughs> oh, my. Mm -hmm. I thought you're not going to stand up to come and hug me. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, good to see you. Mm. You're most welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. I'm not expecting you this soon. I want to take you by surprise. So, where is my lovely wife? You know, I've not seen her since you got married. <laughs> You're welcome. Can you sit down first? <laughs> Thank you. Fun. Good to see you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Sweetheart. Sweetie. <sighs> so, how is Johnny? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> Just, just let me go. Face my 
So, okay, so she can't join us. Where are you going to? Don't worry, let me talk with him, okay? Just calm down and stop crying. It's so cute. You have to take things easy with her. If truly you love her as your wife, this is the time to stand by her. Show her you are the man by winning her love. I have this feeling that it is not ordinary. I will have to talk to my pastor to come here tomorrow before I leave for Abuja. She must leave. <laughs> Pastor, Kamso here is the daughter of Mr. Adams. Okay. The truth remains that she's in love with her father. <laughs> I was a counselor years back in my profession. I have never seen a case as difficult as hers. So I referred her to my senior colleague at the U.S thinking that staying away from her father, she will get over it. To my greatest surprise, she's the wife of my cousin here. Hmm. It's not her fault, my sister. In fact, as you were talking to me, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. <laughs> but don't worry. Let's talk to God in prayer. It is well. Pastor, it is not well, though. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. thank you. We bless your name for this not like you. We exalt your name for this gathering. And we we'll say, receive all the glory in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Receive all the honor, adoration in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Mm -hmm. Pastor, is that all? <laughs> it's not all, my dear. In fact, the Holy Spirit ministered to me again. So we should observe 21 days fasting and pray. <laughs> no. You cannot challenge God. I command you. You hear the word of God. Every spirit in you that is obstructing the will of God. I command that spirit to die now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every foul spirit. Out in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit now. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to leave you now. Amen. Leave you now. Leave you now. Every seductive spirit, every spark spirit, I command it out in the name of Jesus. Sari Kabalo Dizaba. Nerini Parabado Sikiraba. Get out. Get out. Get out. Jesus is Lord. Holy Ghost. If I be the man of God, I command a fire upon you now. Hey, hey, leave this body. Fire. Leave this body now. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Who are you speak? Speak. Speak up. Oh, Jesus. Come on, fire! Fire! Speak! 
Now, speak now in the name of Jesus. I am the spirit of lust. Holy Spirit of God, I worship you. You will leave this body now. You will leave this body. Fire! 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 Leave this body now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Feel so long. 